everyone, what's up? My name is Karen and today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm actually really excited for. If you're familiar with me at all, you'll probably know that at the end of December I put out a video explaining why 2019 was the worst year of my life. Obviously my whole last year wasn't great at all. And the first couple months of 2020 haven't been the best either. Definitely better than last year, but I'm still having a pretty hard time right now, although lots of progress has been made. So I think that this arrived at the absolute perfect time for me. So what I'm going to be doing today is unboxing the Find Your Anchor box. Last year, I think it was in the summertime, The Mighty released an article about this company, Find Your Anchor, who were creating all of these boxes to be shipped out for free to those who needed comfort in times where they were struggling with their mental health. I think I requested it right when the article was released because obviously I was dealing with a lot of struggles of my own. So I thought, oh wow, this would be perfect. But because there was so much popular demand, which I think it's great that so many people want to inspire themselves to stay alive and get better and recover. Um, obviously, it took this poor team so much time to ship the boxes out to everyone and they've worked so hard and I'd say it's definitely worth the wait because I have it now and <laughs> I'm super excited to finally open it up and see what's in here. Um, it's especially been really tough a lot lately and um, I just really needed something to pick me up so I really think this is coming at the best time so I'm super excited to open it up and see what's in here and let you all have a look inside as well. Also I don't know if you can really see it but I have this line on my nose because I was wearing my glasses earlier and I can't get rid of it. Um, so just pretend my face is perfect right now, okay? <laughs> So we have the box here finally and I'm just so ready to see what's in here. Alright, so here is the box with their beautiful Anchor logo on the front. But I think I waited long enough, let's just open it right up and see what's inside. On the top of the box they have printed this is for you. If you're um, requesting one of these boxes to give to someone else that might be struggling, um, this is there as kind of like a hopeful message for them so it says this is for you this is my gift to you if any of these words describe how are you feeling then this box is for you and the words are lost hopeless suicidal if none of this pertains to you please leave the box where you found it for someone else in need so you can also request these boxes and leave them around your town or your city and then maybe someone who needs this will find it and it'll just totally make their day as the keeper of this box it is your responsibility to pass it along when you are ready thank you so at some point I will be able to pass this along to someone else who might need it, which is really nice. So then first things first, we have a sticky note and it says, you are so incredibly loved, Karen. So thank you for that. I love the personal touch. And then there is, that's just their logo on the back. And this sheet says, to the hopeless, the worn out and the disenchanted. Well, hello there. You don't know me, and I won't pretend to know you, but I've been where you are. I know that sadness, that feeling of despair. I know that hopelessness. I want you to know it can get better. There can be hope that there is help. I'm not going to tell you it's easy because you already know it isn't. There isn't one simple answer, pill or book, to make it all better. I wish there was. Instead, what I can offer you are some ideas that helped me. Look through the box, see what you think. The world is an amazing place, and there are people who care. There are things that can help, there is hope. You've already started, you opened the box. A stranger who cares. And then it says, there is hope in the corner here. So that's actually a really nice message, I love that. So I think this first thing is actually a deck of cards. So it says 52 plus reasons to live, unlimited edition. Amazing, so there's the logo. And on the back top it says, find your anchor. Sorry, if I keep going off to the side a bit, I have my phone set up a little bit of a weird way. So um, that's why that keeps happening by accident because sometimes I'll look away from the camera and I won't know what I'm doing. But anyways, so here are all the cards. Oh, these are really pretty. What do the backs look like? Oh my God. These are so cool. So you can see that there's so many different cards with different reasons on why 
um, you want to live. So endless possibilities, best friends. Find the words, the sweetness of life, an unexpected friend. So all of these reasons of like good things that can happen to you, good calls, <laughs> seeing the other side. So all of these, finding justice, yeah, that's one I'd like to see in my life. <laughs> yeah, so just all of these different reasons on why it's worth sticking around and living your life. These actually look so great. I wonder if I could use these as oracle cards. That's a thing I'm getting into, so I don't know. But these are really cute, and oh, just shuffling these and picking one when you are in the mood, that is that is awesome. I love those. I love this box already. Oh, and here's a bracelet. So where does it start? You are so incredibly loved to find your anchor. That is so cute. Rubber bracelets, like, you can't go wrong with those, right? Yeah, this is really cute and I really like blue, so I'll definitely be wearing this a lot. It's a good little reminder too. I also have bracelets that look very similar to this. Um, they're Bell Let's Talk bracelets. So if you're in Canada, you know about that. If you're anywhere else in the world, you probably know about that because people don't shut up about it on the day, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I could wear this and the Bell Let's Talk ones at the same time and just be the biggest mental health advocate you've ever seen. But yeah, that, that's really cute, and that's a nice little reminder to just look down at your wrist and see that during the day, so I love that. Definitely going to be wearing that. Is this a pin? Oh, it is a pin. Look at that. So cute. Putting that on my backpack next to my Jack.org one. And these look like cards. Let's see what they... Are they the same? Yep, they're the same. Okay. Yep. So they are both um, cards about find, find your anchor, so explaining what they are. So it has their email, their hashtag, and their website, and it says grassroots suicide prevention movement. So exactly what they are. So definitely can hold on to those and hand them off to people who might need them. So that is really awesome. Oh, and next up we have a sticker. My mom hates the fact that I love to cover my laptop with stickers, but this one is definitely going on there because I love to show my support for all sorts of mental health initiatives. Like I've got a jack.org one on there. My old work one used to have Trey Love and her arms on it. Um, so this is definitely going on there. I love this, it's so pretty. Oh, and this looks like um, a little sheet for resources. Oh, and they have two of these ones too. So yeah, you can also hand these out to people who might need them. So it has, what's it say? You have in your hand a list of resources. Fold it up and keep it in your pocket. Keep it just in case. You have at your fingertips people who want to help. So it has all the hotlines you can call, all the different places you can look online. Yes, so yeah, that's a really good resource to have on you, especially if you think you might need it. So that's definitely holding on to those. Oh. This looks like a poster, I think. Oh yeah, there we go, a little poster. I'm trying to do this from behind my phone so you can see the whole thing. Um, usually I used to film all my unboxings where it was um, just me holding everything up. So that might've been better for this, but I thought this would be more intimate, more, more cute, but I don't know. If you have an opinion, you can say so in the comments. So I think this is a bunch of different facts about depression and suicide and mental health and mental illness. Um, so it starts with the financial problems, relationship issues, and social pressure all lead to depression. Every 11 minutes, 15% of people choose suicide. 80% of those people seek help. So what do you do if you need to seek help? Find a psychiatrist, call a suicide hotline, seek advice from others, find comfort from loved ones. 120 people per day and 47,000 plus suicides per year. That's really sad, guys. We need to work to change that. Um, reduce stress, listen to music, express yourself, go for a run, take a hot bath. 1,300,000 attempts per year. 13% are just from the West Coast. That, those are some, those are some pretty, pretty heavy stats right there. I mean, this is really important though, that people are aware of just how awful this epidemic is. Yeah, definitely need to hold on to that. Hold that back up. This one looks like a letter. 
happy now after that. I wish I did a little bit less on the back of everything. So I won't read this whole thing since I've done a lot of reading off the page already, but it basically has a lot of the same things from the beginning and it talks about like you would be missed. So it just has a lot of words to inspire you to keep going and find strength and find hope in your situation. Yeah, so if you pick up one of these boxes, this letter is also here to read. They have a lot of resources to read um, in this box already. So yeah, there's just a lot of material here that hopefully when people pick it up, they'll be able to know they're not alone and it'll just help them keep going. That's awesome. Is this one another poster? Oh, this is cute. Okay. It says, <laughs> I know this is an awful angle and I'm so sorry for filming it like this. This is You Are Not Weak and it has this picture of a surfer on the beach looking out at the waves with the Find Your Anchor logo in the bottom corner. So this is very cute. Maybe I'll have to take a picture sometime and put it on my Instagram when I find somewhere to hang up. So you can see what it actually looks like not cut off by an iPhone. Oh my goodness, there's another one. <laughs> oh wow, I love this. So look, this looks like it's taken in Chicago. Okay, you can see from, I don't remember what this thing's called, but I know that's where it is. And you have the buildings here. And then up here it says, change often occurs when we are ready to give up. And you know what? I felt like that a lot lately, so that's definitely something I need to hold on to. Oh, and that looks like we're at the bottom of the box. I totally thought there was something else. So here's the last message. Oh, and by the way, please pass this along when you are ready. I hope you will add your own special touches. Throw in some lyrics, a photo, a phone number, anything that helped you, anything that made a difference. The more that is included, the better the odds that this box will help someone in need. But first, they have to get it, so pass it on. Thank you. Wow, this is, I love this so much. Like they, they've really gone out to try and to let people know that it's okay to experience what you're experiencing and to not let it, to not let it drag you down that you're meant to stay, you're meant to be here. And so all of this, all of this is so important. And I'm, I'm really glad I have this today because wow <laughs> that's honestly all I can say is wow because it's a lot but it's so important I'm really excited to show this to other people and hopefully when I'm ready I can pass it along to someone else that needs it as much as I needed this right now so that was really awesome I'm so happy I have this all right so that was the find your anchor box thank you so much to um, everybody behind this box for you know spending months and months and months trying to fill the demand for these boxes that that totally just made my day looking through that and you guys are doing amazing work I will leave the link to their website as well as the link to the mighty article that they were mentioned in if I can find it if anybody wants to read up on them and learn more about what they're doing um, if you're interested in getting a box for yourself, it is free for anyone in the US, but if you live international, they just ask for you um, to pay $25 for shipping. I think, I think it's the same. I know for Canada it's $25, but it might, it might differ. I don't remember. I think, I think it's the same everywhere else, but that, that's the gist. <laughs> that's the deal. To all of you watching, thank you so, so much for watching this all the way to the end. I really appreciate you going through this with me today. Um, so if you're wondering about the future of my channel, especially for those that um, have been subscribed to me back in my booktube days, I am thinking of taking a totally new direction on this channel and wanting to share more about my journey to recovery and just all things mental health and just from my own personal experiences and just the things that inspire me on this journey and all that fun stuff. I have a lot of ideas already. I just need to find the time to actually do this regularly. Um, 
So if that's something that interests you, please subscribe. And if you really liked this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have like any favorite parts of um, this box or if you just want to ask me a question or if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see videos of, maybe like you want an update from things in my 2019 video or just whatever, like leave anything down there. I don't care, even if it's just a hello, just say hi. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Thank you so much again. Spread love and don't be a troll. Bye.